morning arrival of the vehicle transport vessel Bishu Highway in summer of 2020 signals the opening of the new Trade Point Atlantic Terminal at the Port of Baltimore in Sparrows Point, the newest port for Volkswagen Group of America. Once the home of one of the largest integrated steel mills in North America, Sparrows Point manufactured steel for many iconic American landmarks, supported two world wars, employing at its height 30,000 people and many American families. The collapse of the U.S. steel making industry led to the mill's eventual closure, giving birth to a new vision and platform for global logistics and trade. A new era for Volkswagen Group of America and Sparrows Point begins. Here, approximately 120,000 Volkswagen, Audi, Lamborghini, and Bentley vehicles will arrive on transport vessels from Europe and Mexico each year and be driven a short distance to Volkswagen Group of America's newly opened processing facility at Trade Point Atlantic. The more than 4 million square feet logistics center will provide space for each vehicle to be inspected, accessorized, and prepared for delivery to one of roughly 302 dealers in the Mid-Atlantic region. With direct connections to nearby highways and major rail lines, the facility is built for growth and can accommodate increased vehicle volumes in the future. Building on the vision to redevelop a former steel mill into a global center for logistics, trade, and commerce, Volkswagen saw an opportunity to return to Baltimore, investing approximately $150 million into the facility and operations seen today. The investment and revitalization of a former industrial brownfield site into a state-of-the-art import and processing facility also demonstrates Volkswagen's commitment to sustainability a key building block in Volkswagen Group's global strategy to become carbon neutral across its business by 2050. As this new site begins operations, a highly trained workforce will be necessary to process the constant arrival of vehicles. Up to 100 new full-time jobs are expected to be created to support facility operations, as well as additional jobs for the Port of Baltimore to support increased trucking and rail volumes, vessel operations, and more.